All right, the third funnel is the organic inside sales funnel. All right, so here is the organic slash channel traffic inside sales funnel. So on the left side, we have our content, social media channel. So whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the case is, we're going to get about a 10 to 80% conversion to the opt-in page. From the opt-in page, we're going to get a 5 to 20% conversion to the demo trial slash small purchases um, so they're either going to book a demo, get a trial, or you know purchase something small like an ebook of some sort. All right, so then we have a 50% plus conversion rate to the upsell, and then a 30% plus conversion rate to the onboarding, and a 95% plus conversion to the customer success. And then the contingencies are retargeting campaigns for the opt-in, email and calling campaigns for the demo and you know the trial or the small purchase and then a confirmation and rescheduling if it's for a demo and then a follow-up for the onboarding and then success follow-ups for the customer success all right so here is the organic channel traffic inside sales funnel example So similar to the other ones, we start with our traffic source. So content, social media, podcasts, articles here, one to 5% conversion rate to the opt-in. We have retargeting on the left. From there, we're either going to a 15 minute discovery call or a video sales letter uh, to a quiz and booking or straight to the demo. Then we have retargeting going to the quiz and booking. If it's a bad fit at the discovery call, we mark as a bad fit in the CRM. If it's a bad fit at the quiz and booking, we mark as bad fit. And then at the demo, if it's a bad fit, we mark as bad fit as well. Now at the demo, we have three other alternatives so we have a trial and deposit we have a demo not cl completed not closed and we have a customer so if it's demo completed not closed we retarget them back to close and then if it is a customer or a trial deposit we're either going to convert them to a customer and then we have our customer experiences value via solution and then case study and then after that update funnel using insights from that whole process from the case study all right and the inside sales funnel using organic uh, traffic you know it is the longest to grow and build the pros are it's inexpensive you know it builds your brand it separates you from the competition which is great it increases your conversion rate of other traffic sources cons are it's hard to scale it's very time consuming and slow to set up now when it's used so when you're starting to support your outbound prospecting and advertising efforts when you are already validate when you already validated a high ticket offer with outbound prospecting or ads or when you are scaling up combining with outbound and inbound paid traffic funnel so it's great to combine these two and then kind of support it with the organic channel uh, uh, funnel